Yo, what's good, y'all? Shout out to the Movement YouTube channel. First of all, like this video if you truly are confused with what is actually in these fucking modes. Because I am continuously having to go to other YouTube page to find out information that should be on your YouTube page. The transparency, I say, am I missing something? Or are y'all purposely not being transparent? I swear, just like I do with 2K, we're going to break this game down piece by piece by piece. If you know when I review a game, I don't just let out one review. And it's an hour long. No, 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 no. I let out a video for this mode, a video for that mode. A video. We're going to break this down all the way. And y'all going to see because I can smell it. I can feel it. Y'all are going to see what I was upset about. But shout out to the movement. We about to figure out what's going to be in the season pass. Of course, I fast forward to this part. This is a live reaction, but I'm not watching no bullshit. So not that they putting out bullshit. I'm just saying we ain't got a lot of time. Well, we don't have a lot of time. What the hell are you keep talking for? Play the video. You right. My bad. New superstars and legends and also includes the. OK, so the season pass five of the DLC pack superstars and legends includes my rise mega boost and supercharger pack. Now, listen. I know my rise is like the my career mode. Let me know the online community. Can you take this my rise player online? Because if you can't and fight against people, this mega boost and this supercharger pack seem like some play to win BS. Seems like some pay to win BS. If you can even take the my rise character online, which is 2K, I'm pretty sure you can. But somebody let me know. I rise Mega Boost and Supercharger Pack. So before we talk about those five DLC packs and what's yep. going to be included with those, let's first talk about and explain what the My Rise Mega Boost and Supercharger Pack is. Okay, now right, I'm sure right you've heard many other people mention the Mega Boost and Supercharger before, but most people don't seem to know what these things are. And again, there's no surprise there because this stuff isn't really being clearly communicated directly from 2K themselves. Well, what do you know? What do you know? It's not clearly being communicated by 2K themselves. That's done on purpose. They clearly communicate and they want us to pre-order. They clearly communicate and they want us to buy a $120 version. They clearly communicate and they want us to buy the season pass. But they won't clearly communicate what's actually in this shit. <sighs> However... If we check out websites where you can purchase these items separately, such as Xbox.com, you can see that they come with an additional official blurb that explains what they are. Okay. Starting with the My Rise Mega Boost, it reads, Start your career, finish... Okay, start your career, finish the competition. Make your debut in 2K22 Unstoppable with My Rise Mega Boost. Unlock and upgrade your My Player rating and attributes with 200 additional attribute points. Like I said, some... Because I don't play... WWE online. I just don't. Somebody let me know. If you can take this my player online and fight against other people, which I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't mind being wrong. That's why I'm prefacing, prefacing my comment by saying if, if you can take this online, this is exactly pay to win. You buy the season pass, you pay, get some upgrades, some attributes faster than anybody else will, then go online and whip people last. Now, I don't know if online is competitive or what, but if you can take this person online, it's pay to win. Competition. Make your debut in WWE 2K22 unstoppable with the My Rise Mega Boost. Unlock and upgrade your My Player ratings and attributes okay. with 200 additional attribute points. So, this is basically the kickstart that we've seen included with previous WWE 2K season passes, where it gives you the ability to upgrade your stats to a higher level earlier on in the career type mode. In WWE 2K22's case, that is my rise. Honestly, this is not something that we've ever been too excited about coming with our season passes in the past, but with my rise taking the single player experience in a whole new direction this year, this mega boost may actually prove to be worthwhile. Next okay, maybe. Because it says single player. It say it say single player. So maybe it's all right. I can't see 2K not using this to let people know, hey, you can get a head start if you take your player online. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments once again. 
Next up, we have the Supercharger, and this one sounds a little bit more interesting if you ask me. The official blurb for this reads, Hit with every legend from Ultimate... Hit with every legend from Ultimate Warrior to Stone Cold, with the Supercharger, legends in the universe in your hands, unlock all... Okay, so I think this is just like the 999 thing they usually do. Okay, all right, this is worth it to me. This is worth it to me. It's been worth it in past games. You get more arenas, you get ledge, you can unlock them all at once and not try to play the game for hours and hours. This is worth it. I cannot even lie. Warrior to Stone Cold. With the WWE okay, Ultimate whatever. Warrior. Come on, let's go. So on face value, this sounds quite similar to that of the Accelerator from previous games. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what those are, the Accelerator was something that you could purchase which would allow you to unlock this model. Okay, let's skip. I confirmed that Dominic Mysterio was in WWE. It wasn't too surprising to see going to react. He did to unlock certain let's people. See what we, get. we don't mind having let's to work see what we to got. unlock Some people more in WWE more 2K22. So, now that you know what the Mega Boost and the Supercharger are going to include, let's move over to the five DLC packs that we're going to be getting. The five DLC packs we think... 22. We, the so, the five DLC packs we think will be in WWE 2K22 Season Pass. So, are y'all saying y'all don't even know for sure? Y'all don't even know for sure? First is a Celebrity Pack. Given that our one and only confirmed DLC member is Who a cares? celebrity and wouldn't really fit Who the hell? Okay. ...into any other theme pack, we think him and a down below. The second pack, a handful of up-and-coming stars within... Okay, NXT pack? Okay, cool. But this is what they think. But let's stop this video right here. Because this is kind of getting on my nerves. Why are y'all so secretive? Why are y'all so secretive? Y'all want to drop a video? Just drop a video detailing everything that's going to be in the season pass. Y'all are just... 2K. I know y'all love to do this, but this is kind of getting extreme. This is kind of getting extreme. And it makes me think that y'all going to let out stuff that people don't want. And y'all just trying to get the pre-orders first. Why are y'all not transparent? Just let us know what's going to be in the fucking season pass. It said five we it said five packs that five DLC packs that we think is going to be in the season pass, but they want you to buy it right now. If you want to buy the game for 70 play universe mode play all this stuff, fine. Y'all don't buy no. Come on now. Have enough respect for your wallet. To say, you're going to at least let me know what's in the fucking pack before I buy it. So people ain't got to think about what's going on. Y'all intentionally like hiding the shit. Like, I don't know. And, but but that, that's it for this video. Let me know what y'all think about the My Rise. Can you take your My Rise player online? If you can, this is pay to win. If you can't, I mean, okay. Cool. If you want to buy OL, if you want to buy the fucking supercharged, whatever. But we don't even know exactly what's going to be in here. We got to read you. We got to read Xbox descriptions, PlayStation descriptions, people just on the website scavenging for news that y'all should put on your channel. I don't get how y'all, I don't get how these video game companies ask for pre-orders and ask for, even if you ask for pre-orders and ask for a season pass and it wasn't shit in it that nobody wanted. I mean, that anybody actually wanted. At least we would know what's in it. God damn, man. I'll holler at y'all later.